Hello everyone. So you follow my tutorial using CLI with the multi GPU to generate your post data. And now that you reach 100%, it's time to start your node. How are we going to do that? Let's check it out. It's good practice to keep everything organized. So I have my post data for node 2 here and my post data for node 3 here. So I know where everything is. And here on my desktop, I have my nodes. So here I run the nodes for each post data and I also identify which is each. So I'm going to start a new one, a new node for the new CLI has just finished. So I'm going to create a folder and call it node 5. If you've done this before, the easiest way is just press control and copy, right? But I'm going to do from the start in case you've never done this. So I'm going to open the folder. Of course, you need to download the Ghostspace Ghost Space Smash latest version. 101. I already have this, so just go open folder here. Here we go. And I'm gonna drag this over there. Like so. That's it. Now I'm gonna create a file called node5.ps1. And this will be our starting point. Now, let's edit. And the first thing I want to do is give it a, a title. So when the node starts, the command line is going to look uh, like this. As you can see, node 3 says that. And every time I select, you will tell me which one is each. So, title on this case will be node 5. There we go. And first thing we want to do is obviously call go space mesh. Obviously I already have all these commands, but I'm going to go through with all of them so you understand. So this is the connection to the node itself. This is my config file we need to download this. And it's good practice to keep this file updated. So I'm gonna to go to the website and this is the config file. Select and I'm gonna create a config file here. So new text config.mainnet.json edit and paste this first thing I'm gonna do is change the ports this is because you can only use one node for each port it's not hard so I'm running node 5 so I'm gonna replace this 9 with a 5 you can use whatever ports you want as long as they're not being used with any other program it's this also, we need to tell the node how many announces and uh, how, how many threads I wanted to use. Otherwise, it's going to be the default and it's going to be a big mess for you. So to do that, we go at the end, put a comma, enter, and pass this. I'm going to leave this on the description to be easy for you guys. So the max file is going to be this this is equals to um, two gigabytes but it's gigabits that's what we use on each file as you can see there that's what we produce uh, provided you leave as it is number of units is whatever you produce so in my case one terabyte 16 units but size you can leave this as is. So the announcers is whatever is best for you. I'm going to use 288 and 5 threads on my CPU. I'm going to save. 
and close. So we have this sorted. Next, the default directory for SM data. This is where the node is going to save all your stuff. As you can see here, you got my database, my peers, and so on and so forth. Next will be my wallet address. Yes, you can use your wallet address for every node you have. Okay. Now, smashing start. And the file lock. This is what prevents you from using several nodes. So every time you start a new node, you need to give the file lock a new name. In this case, node 5. I'm going to call it a fair five. You can call it whatever you want. Next will be data deal. In this case, this is the path for my node five, which will be on drive F. Okay. You put whatever you need to put in there. Next, the provider in this case is whatever GPU I want to use. It won't be necessary, but the parameter needs to be there. Next, max file. We need to say this, otherwise the node will default to 4 gigabytes and give you an error. So we need to tell the node this is actually 2 gigabytes. Number of units, again, like we've done on config mainnet JSON. 16 on my case and finally the log file okay we need to create this log file so in here just a new file output txt you can call it whatever you want it doesn't need to be output and this is done now one thing is important guys you must always check this your node id must always be different so open key being file and you can check your node id it's the last 64 digits another way is go to the end and you have your post data will also show your node id this must be different for every node i cannot I'm not tired of saying this because people still getting this wrong and make a note of your nodes ID for example here I ne I have all my nodes ID so I know which one is each and I never get wrong if you get one mixed up you lose all the data on both nodes It's very important never use same node ID Okay, this is all set up. We can close this now. Now we're gonna create a command file to open this file. And I'm gonna call it node5cmd. It's just, it's just easier to remember. Edit. And I'm going to point it to my PS1 file. So, node 5, node 5. And this is it. Now, we want to start the node as soon as Windows starts, in case there's a power failure or reboot or something. So, I'm going to create a shortcut. And then, here, press Run. Or Windows key and R. And go to Shell. Start, start up and drag your shortcut there now node 5 will start with your windows okay all you have to do is double click node 5 and you run now I don't have post data for my node 5 so um, I don't even have a <laughs> so I'm not gonna double click but uh, you can see I have exactly the same thing for node 4 guys remember never use same node id and this is it that's it for creating your node and uh, what we got here node 3 is here we'll go through that and we'll eventually will create 
your post data file as well this after you have this file then you're ready to submit on the next poet and uh, after two weeks submit your ATX uh, as for the poet uh, I uh, suggest you guys watch this video it's a bit long but it's brilliantly explained how the poet and the two, two weeks window works so you don't go get confused expect rewards as soon as you run your note it doesn't work like that space smash is different than um, other coins and that's it for today guys i hope this is helpful and i'll see you next time